yes, welcome everyone back to another Middle Earth Gaming video and back to another news update video. And in today's video, we're going to be going over the uh, the new release that's going to be coming out this week. Now, if you don't know already, if you guys haven't been up to date already, um, Defense of the North is being uh, being released for pre-order this coming Saturday or Friday, I, I guess. The, no, I think it is Saturday. Saturday, wherever you are in the world. Um, it's going to be awesome. I cannot wait for it. I know we've been waiting. Oh, it feels like we've been waiting like this for a long time. Um, you know, releases for Defense of the North started back in, I'm going to say like February or March last year with the Acolytes, with the Eastling Acolytes. Um, and we've been, we've known um, about Defense of the North since Articon. Um, you know, they, they decided to tell us early, um, which, you know, obviously makes sense. And uh, I can't wait to get my hands on it and start doing, uh, you know, content videos around it. It's going to be awesome. Uh, unboxings, all that kind of good stuff. Um, so, yeah, let's get straight into it. And there's a few little uh, c cool things that are being released alongside it as well. So, uh, let's uh, get straight into it. If you guys are going to enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, share, subscribe, like good jazz. Uh, comment below as well. We'll have a nice discussion in the comment section below as well. Um, but, yeah, hope you guys are going to enjoy the video. And let's get straight into it. So, yes... For what we know, Defense of the North is coming uh, up for pre-order this Saturday, um, along with a few other things as well. Now, I had an uh, intuition, um, I had a hunch about a few things that would get released that haven't been, you know, obviously announced, um, that, that weren't announced when this when, when this article was going live, so that's a bit unfortunate. But, you know, that's just me, that's just me um, speculating, but uh, there you go. So, uh, we'll get straight into the article, we'll have a talk about it, and we'll come back to, uh, we'll come back and... Uh, talk about it as well so uh see you guys there all right guys so here we are we have the sunday preview now this of course uh was a couple of days ago now um but uh, i just thought i'd make this video just you know because there's some people that uh don't know what is coming um they, and that you know some people don't know about warhammer community so i thought i'd make this video just to have it all in one place and uh you know just to let you guys know what's going on as well um to know what's coming out as well so I'll put the link to this in the description below uh, if you guys want to go check it out for yourselves. But here we go, Sunday preview, which elves, are, I, I guess that's how you say it, Spectral Hordes and the Defense of the North. Now a lot of it is for Age of Sigma, so I'm just going to scroll through that. We don't really, uh, uh, I, I'm not a massive fan of Sigma anyway, but um, there you go. So here we have the Middle Earth strategy battle game. We have the Defense of the North is being released, uh, well, up for pre-order this Saturday, I should say. Um, as you guys know, I am very much excited for Defense of the North. I cannot wait for it. Um, so let's see what it says. The Defense of the North expansion lands in the storied world of Middle-earth, taking players through pitiful events in the Northern Realms. This packed rule supplement contains new profiles for the heroes and villains who fought in the North, new army lists, 22 enthralling narrative play scenarios that can be linked together into a campaign, and six legendary legions that give you fresh ways to forge an army. Um, of course, as we know from uh, some Q&As and some from seminars as well, there's also going to be three, um, what are they, battle companies in there. Um, and of course, we know from, uh, you know, I think it was an article just a couple of weeks ago, there's going to be appendices uh, from The Hobbit as well. So that's really, really exciting. I can't wait to see that. Be, as you guys know, I'm a massive Hobbit fan. So uh, that's going to be cool. Uh, on top of that, there's a massive selection of Middle Earth products returning to the range. These will be available to order immediately on Saturday. Um, that's very cool. So it looks like that they're going to be... Um, that's, uh, that's, that's cool. Um, so yeah, these are not made to orders. These are returning to the range, um, which would be cool. Um, I know a lot of people have been wanting some of these, especially the Moria players. You know, if you're a Moria player, you just, you're, you're in heaven right now. Um, so we have the dragon. Um, I know a lot of people aren't a massive fan of the dragon, but, uh, I am definitely going to be picking him up. I, of course, I, I wanted to pick him up, uh, when he last was out, but I never got a chance and he was gone before I could pick him up. Um, but he, I think the last time he was, was in, uh, Finecast or Citadel Resin, I think they're calling it now. Um... So I'll definitely be picking him up. And then we have some Gundabad Black Shields, the Warband, Grobog, and Druzag. Uh, I think that's, yeah, I think that's Grobog and that's, oh no, Durbers. Grobog and Durbers. Um, we have the Eastling War Priest Mounted and the Eastling uh, Black Dra Dragon Knight. Yeah, Dragon Knight uh, Mounted. We have some Goblin Prowlers. We have Ashrak and, oh, I don't know who he is. I'm sure. I'm sure. If, if you guys know what he is, uh, yeah, he's he's the beast, the beast caller, whatever he is. Um, uh, I can't even re remember his name. And the uh, Wag Marauder. Um, so that's very cool. So both of your nefarious forces of evil with a whole heap of. Uh, oh, there we go, Druzag. 
there we go. It, it's Druzag. So we have yeah, the Dragon Mori Goblin heroes like Ashtrak, Dr uh, Druzag, Durbos, and Grublog, and some supremely skilled Eastling mounted commanders. So we also have some uh, for good. We have the uh, East, uh, the I was going to say Eastling uh, Grimhammer Captain. The Grimhammer Captain and the Captain of Erebor are returning to the range, which are awesome. Uh, these guys have been very much sought after. I believe the was it the Grimhammer Captain or what, one of them have, has been going for a crazy amount of money um, up on eBay. So very cool to see these guys back. Um, the Late Town Captains as well. We're definitely going to be picking these guys up. I'm going to be converting the Late Town Captain, um, Late Town Guard Captain, I should say, into Braga. Because um, we need him for a scenario as well, or a couple of scenarios. Um, and then we have the Kazakh Guard, and I believe this is the first time that all eight are available um, at once, which is very cool. So you can get them in a box of eight. Um, obviously, going to be metal because that's the last time I believe that's the last. Uh, um, th 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 that's what they were made in last, so essentially. Then we have something very, very interesting. We have the Fortress of Dolgordor. Now, this is uh, a need of vast battlefield to play out uh, conflicts between good and evil. The Fortress of Dolgador set is a collection of six modular ruins of Dolgador kits, allowing you con to construct an ominous fortress or sprawling set of ruins to battle over and wheel in. Now, as you guys know, I am building Dolgador. Um, I have been for the last couple of months. Um, it's been a bit on the back pedal recently um, as I've been doing a lot of painting and uh, just work and life in general. Um, but uh, this is very, very cool to see. I wish that this came out when Fallen Necromancer came out. As of now, I have bought nine sets of the Dolgador Ruins. Um, I will be picking this up because I'm hoping that it's going to be a bit of a saving. Um, you get six of the Dolgador Ruin sets, which is very, very cool. Um, and I haven't even started on the courtyard yet. I've used nine sets of the ruins and have not even started on the courtyard, so I'm definitely going to need at least another six. Um, I probably won't be needing 12, so I'll probably only be picking up one of these. Um, but uh, yeah, that's very, very cool indeed. Um, I'm just looking at the board now. Yeah, I, yeah, I definitely will need six, so I'm definitely going to be picking this guy up. Um, but very, very cool to see. And interesting that's coming out with Defense of the North. Are we going to see a Dolgador scenario in here, like the Siege of Dolgador? Because as we know, um, was it, uh, was it Thranduil? I think Thranduil goes as well. I know Celeborn and Galadriel go and, um, lay siege to Dolgador and Galadriel throws, throws down its walls and lays bare its pits. Or something like that. Um, from the appendices. So maybe we might see a siege of Dolgador and that would be awesome to see, um, on my, on my Dolgador board as well. It'd be cool to have a siege of Dolgador. I was going to do one anyway for, um... Defense of the North, but we'll we'll, uh, we'll see what scenarios we can uh, get out of Defense of the North for that anyway. But very very cool to see, and uh, hopefully it's a nice saving as well. Um, the Rohan Stronghold, which we got six houses and two of the Palisade kits, was about a 35 percent saving. Um, so hopefully there's a nice saving on this one as well. That'd be awesome. We have the Eastling dice set. Um, so very 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 cool to see. Nice gold on and red. Um, Dice definitely going to be picking uh, one or two of these sets up. Um, yeah, very cool to see on that. And then we have uh, Forge World. Of course, the so all these guys are from Forge World. So, uh, unfortunately, I, I know some people are hoping that some of these would be uh, in plastic. Unfortunately, they are not. They are all from Forge World, which makes sense. You know, the Dragon Emperor... Um, it would be cool. It would have been cool to see him in plastic, but I, he's he's not in the films, and the Eastlings are you know there's a lot of Eastling players out there, but I think East the Eastlings are a very niche um, army, um, and yeah, again he's not from the films. We don't really we don't see him at all. He's I think I'm pretty sure he's a GW and Vegan. I think you do hear about a dragon or an emperor um, of the Eastlings at some point in the books that like you hear about it once. But other than that, he's pretty much an invention. Uh, a very cool invention, i got to say, because he's an awesome model. But uh, yes, the Dragon Emperor of Rune will be uh, will be going up on the Forge World site after pre-order this weekend as well. Definitely going to be picking this guy up because he's awesome. As well as the Eastling Black Dragon Warriors. Um, really excited to see these guys as well um, be added to an army. Their shields are amazing. These guys have been longing. I think they, these guys were announced before Christmas, I want to say. I believe they were announced before Christmas, um, and I was waiting for them, but, uh, yeah, obviously he, they come with the Dragon Emperor, that just makes sense, right? And, uh, it, it's cool, you can make, uh, pikes or swords and shields, so that's gonna be cool to see, and you have a nice looking banner, um, there as well. 
Then we have the Dell Commanders. So of course uh, these were only an, uh, only announced was it last week. Um, so very cool to see these guys come out very very soon. Um, well, I'll, I'll prepare this this Saturday. You know sooner than um, a lot of other uh, of these have been announced for. So we have the Eastling Captain, the Eastling uh, sorry the the Dale Captain I should say the new uh, Dale Captain. We have the Dale Hornblower. Um, and uh, the Dale Banner Bearer, the long awaited Banner Bearer, finally. And then we have the Dale Windlands as well, which is an awesome model. Um, probably not going to be picking this guy up straight away. I probably will eventually, but um, I, unless, like I said, unless scenario dictates that I need a Dale Windlance in one of the scenarios, I probably won't be picking this guy up straight away. But I will eventually, of course, because I love the Dale models. They're just awesome. Um, but yeah, that is everything that's been going up for pre-order this weekend. Um, let me know in the comment section below what are you guys are going to be picking up. And uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be awesome. Um, I don't I don't need the range ro range rotation just yet. You know, these guys are going to be in the range for a little bit, at least a couple months, I would say. Um, so I'm not too worried about picking these guys up straight away. But uh, they're very cool to see anyway. But that yeah, that, there we go, guys. Defense of the North being going up for pre-order this Saturday. I hope you guys are excited as I am. So there we go guys, that is everything that is going to be going up for pre-order this coming Saturday. So of course we don't have Green Bay on, we don't have the Bay awnings just yet. Um, they will be coming obviously at a later date. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see if we're going to be getting any other stuff. Because um, they did say in a, um, I think it was in a a, like, um, a Q and a that there was going to be 16 new profiles in this book. And from what I can gather that we've, we've saved 14 I believe. I believe we've received 14. So is there going to be something new in the book that you know they just haven't announced yet and they're waiting for the book to announce it? Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. Um, I think that'd be pretty cool. You know, maybe like a secret elven profile or something like that. Maybe a, a maybe a dwarf. Who knows? Like, you know, I think a lot of people have been wanting Orifin. Um, obviously, how it is brother. Um, you know, he's, he's sorely wanted. Uh, just the elven profile. I believe we haven't, haven't had an elven profile. I think the last elven profile that we got was um galadriel lady of light and that was a long time ago and the last elven pro uh the last elven model other than legolas from three hunters was trying to an elk i believe um i believe that those were the last um elven pro uh the last elven models were released so it's been a while for elven players i know um you know especially with the northern theater you know we've got Merkled, we've got lotharian you think we would get something to do with elves but i'm guessing we'll just have to wait and see on that um, you know, I'm, I'm sure at some point we are going to get some stuff for, for those Elven players, so I wouldn't stress too much about that. Um, so yeah, and like, like I said before, like I, I was hoping that we would get some uh, Dale buildings uh, to uh, go alongside the terrain. Um, again, that's just me speculating. I, I thought that'd be cool, and it would help me when I build my Dale board very soon. Um, it would help with that, but I'm just going to have to do it the old-fashioned way, of course, um, with a styrofoam foam board and all XPS and all that kind of stuff. Um, but that's okay. Uh, I, you know, it, it, it is what it is. Um, I, I was just, uh, I, I, it, for like War and Rohan, we got the Rohan houses. For Full and Necromancer, we got Dogodor Ruins. I, I was hoping or, yeah, I, I was kind of hoping that we'd get some Dale buildings or something along those lines. Um, who knows, we could, you know, later down in, in the future, but I don't think so. If, if it's not going to come out now, I don't think it will. Um, but that's okay. Uh, as I said, that was just me speculating. That's my that's my own fault. Um, but uh, who knows? We'll have to wait and see what you know what can come in the future, I guess. Um, but yeah, let's. Uh, I think that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you guys are enjoying. I hope I uh, hope that this uh, video was helpful for you guys. Uh, whoever, I, I I don't. I really wasn't sure about if I was going to make this video because I know a lot of people you know know about the con uh, know about the uh, news that's going up for pre-order this week. But a lot of people also don't. I've been getting. Uh, a few comments saying, uh, you know, what's up, what's up for pre-order this weekend? What is it all of it? Is it just, you know, some things? Um, and I just thought I'd make this video just to give you guys information that you need. Because that's that's what I'm here for, essentially. I like give, giving you guys information and, um, yeah, and just like, you know, talking with you guys about it as well. Because, you know, it's my hobby as well, it's, as well as yours. Uh, I'm really excited for it. And of course, it's Defense of the North. How can I be not just... I, you guys know I've been raving on a lot, I think, ever since we ever heard the new Easterlings coming out. I had a feeling when those Easterling Acolytes came out like this was going to be coming and I so can't wait for it because as I've said multiple times, it's stuff that we haven't seen in the films and it's stuff that, you know, is pretty much untold. There's not much in the books 
in the appendices about um, the war in the north or defense of the north, I, sh I should say. Um, so I'm really excited for it, and uh, yeah, I, I think it's going to be a lot of fun uh, in the future as well. So well, I'll have to wait and see. Um, but uh, yeah, I, what, what are you guys planning on getting in Defense of the North? Are you guys planning on picking a lot of it up, some of it up? Um, are you going to get any of the uh, real releases coming back? Um, my theory so far is I'm going to be getting, I'm definitely going to be getting the uh, Dolgador Fortress. I think I said this before anyway. The Dolgador Fortress, um, I, I have not finished my Dolgador board yet and I still need some more ruins. I have used nine boxes of the ruins so far. And I'm definitely going to need another six anyway. So um, for the courtyard, I haven't even started the courtyard yet. I've already used nine. So um, yeah, we're, we're, I'm definitely going to be getting picking that up. So that'd be cool. Um, hopefully, it's a nice uh, a nice saving, just like the Rohan stronghold was. I believe that was like a 30, 35 percent saving. So hopefully, it's something like that for the Dolgador Fortress as uh, Fortress as well. That'd be very cool. I was I wish they had brought that out beforehand because that would have saved me a bit. But you know, it is what it is. It's it's fine. Um, Definitely going to be picking up the book. Definitely going to be picking up the Easterling dice. Um, definitely going to be picking up some, a few things as well for some giveaways as well for Defense of the North Week. Or I don't even know, know what I'm going to call it yet, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, definitely going to be picking up the Dragon Emperor. Can't wait for him. Um, I, I think a lot of people have been speculating on the prize for a long time, ever since he got announced. Um, I, I, you know, I don't think he'll be more than the Iron Hills Chariot. If anything, I think he'll be the same price, but hopefully, that is, that's my theory. I'm thinking about be about the High and Hills Chariot. If he's cheaper, great. If he's a bit expen more expensive than that, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, because he's, you, you got to think, like, he's the general for a, for a particular army. Like, uh, you know, there are a lot of Eastling players out there that are wanting to get this model. And the price point, I think, I think for some people, it won't be a problem, but for new Eastling players who obviously be getting into Eastlings from this book. I think there will be a lot of people doing that. Um, you know, my myself included. Um, I, I'm going to be picking him up anyway, just because I'm, I'm surely there's going to be at least one scenario that you're going to need the Dragon Emperor for. So I'm definitely going to be picking him up for that. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I think th I think there's some humanity in it as well uh, about the price point. You know, you they don't want it to be too expensive that people won't want to play Eastlings and won't want to get the new model, but you don't want to be too cheap for cost of goods as well. So I think if he's any more expensive than the Iron Hills Chariot, it's a bit eh. Um, but I, I think, yeah, the Iron Hills Chariot, I think is a good um, benchmark for it. Um, I think he might be a bit less than that. But again, we'll have to wait and see in a couple of days. So um, that, that's pretty exciting. Um, the Black Dragons, don't think I'm getting, picking, picking up a few of them. Um, I don't know. I'll probably like one or two at the start, and then maybe more in the more uh, more later. Because um, I want Rutabi to lead some black dragons. You know, it makes sense that the as the black dragon general, um, and I want obviously the dragon emperor to lead some black dragons as well. It makes sense, right? Um, and considering he's the first hero of legend, um, he's uh, he can lead up to eighteen, and then he's uh, his guard who's you know host hosting up the palaquin. Um, don't. Don't count towards his warband. If the palanqu if the palaquin gets destroyed, they can join him as well um, without the uh, without the limit. So he can potentially lead. He's he can technically lead twenty four. Um, so that's that's very cool as well. Um, and yeah, the new day old command pack definitely picking up one of them. I'm not sure about picking up the wind lance just yet. Um, you know, uh, if 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 scenario dictates it, I will definitely pick one up. But um, I've already got Bard, I've already got the Windlands and Bard, so I'm not too fussed about getting that one just yet. But like I said, if Scenario di di dictates that I need to get it, um, I will definitely pick one up. Because that, that, that's what my hobby is a lot at the moment. It's very much scenario based, it's very much um, thematic, thematic based, and that's just what I enjoy. Um, and, I, and I know that there's a lot of narrative players out there as well, so I, th I think uh, you narrative players out there probably know what I mean. But um, yeah, I'm really excited for this weekend. Really excited for when the Bayonings and Grim Bayon shows up as well. I'll definitely be picking up some of them up. Uh, I can't wait for them. Um, and yeah, as soon as I get the book in my hands, guys, hopefully, uh, you know, maybe a day early or so. We'll have to wait and see. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I will definitely be doing a, uh, a in-depth review. Uh, my first impressions in-depth review through the entire book. And uh, unboxings, of course. And uh, ho ho who knows what else as well. So I'm really excited for this, if you, got, if you guys can't tell already. Um, I'm really excited for this, and I hope you guys are too. But I've jabbered on long enough. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next one, and of always, and of course, 
I can't even sign this off anymore. I'm too, I'm just, as you guys can see, I'm just way too excited. But hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you guys in the next one. And of course, happy gaming.